Not many people have the privilege of witnessing the wonderful journey of a truly gifted artist. If you have ever attended a classical music concert at the Walt Disney Concert Hall or the Hollywood Bowl, you may have already seen him. His name is Raynor Carroll, and he is the principal percussionist of the Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra. For more than 33 years, since he was 25, Raynor has been a member of the LA Phil. I grew up in Pasadena, and I studied at Cal State LA. My major was performance and composition. So I was really a dual major, and I did a lot of writing in school. For me, I got into it because I, I had a connection with it, and it was specifically drums. My dad would play different styles of music at home, whether it was Ravel, Bolero, Tchaikovsky, 1812, or Duke Ellington, or whatever, or Count Basie. So I liked all styles of music. But there was something about the classical music where it is very structured versus, let's say, jazz or other genres, R&B. And I just took a liking to it. So it was easy for me to go into that area. My favorite percussion instrument is percussion itself. It's because there are so many instruments and the variety there makes it such a joy to play the variety of instruments that there are as opposed to playing one instrument, the violin or viola or trumpet or whatever. So I would say my favorite is percussion itself because there are so many instruments. Whether I'm playing percussion or listening to music or whatever, there's this connection that I always have. And it's, like I say, it's like being in love. <laughs> uh, endless love where it's always been there. And I've always said that I didn't choose the drums, the drums chose me. When telling the story through a musical piece, the voice that is represented by the percussion can be varied. Uh, it could be anger. It could be a very light, playful thing. It could be the waves of the ocean or a lake as we do rolls on the cymbals and the tam-tam. So that, again, is one of the great things about percussion. You can make and create so many varied sounds. My work with the Los Angeles Philharmonic as the first African-American principal percussionist has given me the opportunity to set example on stage where there aren't many African-Americans that tend to play classical music. Uh, so being on stage, I can set an example for others younger that it is possible to go into this genre that there aren't very many in currently. From a percussionist perspective, the difference in playing live at Walt Disney Concert Hall, which is a fantastic performance venue, versus the Hollywood Bowl, which also is an amazing place, uh, it's, it's the ambiance at, at uh, the Hollywood Bowl. It's so nice to set up on stage and look out upon maybe 18,000 people with the stars out and maybe an occasional helicopter flying by and, you know, have the audience drinking their wine, having their meal as we play music for them. Uh, it's very nice. But at Walt Disney Concert Hall, it's very nice also in a different way because it's very intimate. The hall seats just slightly under 2,000, but they're seating all around us. So when I'm playing, there are audience members literally right behind me. And quite often, whether at intermission or before or after concerts, they'll ask me questions. What was that instrument? And what did, you, did you like that conductor? And so the rapport between the audience is, it's like un, unmatchable. So I feel connected to our audience at Disney Hall. <laughs> it's my bouquet to you. <laughs> Teaching is a very important thing and it's a way of keeping the arts alive in Los Angeles. Uh, it's one of my passions. I currently teach at UCLA.
I like the connection when I see in my students, they have that spark in them that I remember that I had as a student too. That's a great connection there and I like to have students of all different interests and different levels because it's a challenge for me to be able to relate to them and to be able to explain to them what I do, how I do and why I do it. On September 4th, 2016, Rayner retired from the Los Angeles Philharmonic. So the best advice I'd give myself starting out was to do pretty much what I did, keep your passion. No matter what's going on, how difficult or how easy the job is, just keep the passion of the music within you. Thank you.